Hey everyone, and welcome to another CTF Reddit video. This is Misk Jenkin. It was a challenge from the Cyber Apocalypse 2023 by Hack the Box. Um, it wasn't a particularly difficult challenge. Uh, we're just going to be exploiting a little logic bug, but I like the solution and I thought it was pretty fun. So we're given a Docker container and some download files. Uh, but before we get started, some fun little trivia. Apparently Jenkin is the Japanese equivalent of rock, paper, scissors. And it says they use it whenever there's a clash of opinions between two people in Japan. Um, so pretty fun. We've seen these Jenkin problems before. Normally we're exploiting a random number generator, but in this in this case, we're actually gonna do some logic bug, uh, which is pretty fun. Um, and yeah, with that, let's get started. So we're given some download files. Uh, if we take a look, uh, there's a flag.txt and a Jenkin binary. The Jenkin binary, L64, not compressed. So let's jump into Ubuntu box and let's run it. So we're given some Japanese characters. I assume that's Japanese. It says play and rules. If we go to rules, uh, rock is called goo, choki, and pa. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, paper beats rock. You have to win a hundred times, a hundred times to get uh, the prize. So this seems like breaking a random number generator um, because you know they're randomly going to pick one for the computer. Um, but we can try playing. So we're going to hit play. We get to choose rock, paper, or scissors. Uh, I'm going to choose rock, and we lost. It also uh, messed up the terminal. Um, Cool, so let's take a look in Ghidra and see what's going on. Cool, now that Ghidra is loaded, let's go to the main function. Um, we can see it didn't actually uh, figure out what types all the, the data sections are. I'm pretty sure these are all strings. Yeah, C terminated strings. So you can just go to data, terminated C string, and it'll fix that. Um, this is how they do the character coloring. And I'm guessing these are also the different Japanese signals and or uh, symbols, and I'm guessing uh, uh, Gija's just kind of confused. But anyways, uh, skipping over most of this stuff, we can see if we win 100 rounds down here, we're going to get the prize, which is probably the goal. If we go to get prize, uh, we can see flag.txt. So we know where the goal is. Uh, zooming up, we can see here's the 100 rounds, and we're going to play the game. So this is where all the fun stuff happens. Um, code really isn't too long, so define some variables. Uh, here's an array for rock, paper, scissors. Here's another one. Again, it didn't. it's, it's missing a bunch of these datas. I'm not really sure why, because this is terminated by a null byte, but... Again, it's easy to fix just to make things prettier. You can go to data, terminated C string, and now it'll update correctly. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. It's going to write some stuff out. And so here it's going to read our buffer. So it's going to read from standard in uh, almost 32 bytes into this. So I'm going to rename this. I just type L in buffer. Cool. Then it's going to write out uh, the guru's choice and your choice. Cool. And so, okay, looks good. And it looks like it's getting the guru's choice from random up here. So this is, uh, we'll call that guru choice rand. Sweet. Um, from here, uh, the logic's a little bit weird. Um, basically, it's going to loop over our input uh, for every character, and it's going to do the C type B lock. I wasn't familiar with this, but just doing some quick Googling, apparently this is what you can use to determine uh, the character's type, like if it's an ASCII or a, a space or a punctuation, um, and you just you pass it to this function, and or I think it actually it might be a character mapping, and it'll tell you the bits for that character. Um, pretty cool, but basically it's just going to loop over, and it's going to determine and make sure that every character is just an ASCII character. Um, I think that's what these bits were for. Um, but we're only going to be using Asker characters. So the actual bug is somewhere in here. So after we've looped over every character, um, it's going to then do a comparison. And if you want, you can pause the video and see if you can see what the bug is. Um, but otherwise, I will uh, just continue. So it's going to call the string string function. So this is going to find the index of where the string is. A it's going to find the index of where the, uh, it's just going to do a string find. So um, it's going to look for Guru's choice rand this this local variable local 58 so it's going to look for either paper rock scissors so this is the winning solution in our input buffer so if it can find either whichever one it beats uh, the guru uh, in our input buffer uh, we win and the string string it returns it doesn't return the index it returns a pointer into that string where it first occurs um, and so if it can find that pointer uh, we win and we go to the next round um, so the solution is uh, it's not checking for just uh, a single one. I mean, it is just checking for a single one. So instead, what we can do is we can just pass paper, rock, and scissors all into the same string because they'll fit into 32 bytes. Um, so each one of our inputs will just be paper, rock, scissors. And because it'll always be able to find the correct solution in our input buffer, uh, we'll win. So uh, nice and simple solution. Um, so we can go here. Actually, we can try running it. So we can go to make Ubuntu. Uh, let's run it again. 
Jenkin, uh, we're going to play. So we'll, our input's going to be rock, scissors, paper, and we win. <laughs> so we get to win every round. So the solve script is very simple. Uh, let me get the, the new Docker thing. Cool. And we'll paste it in here. So this is our Docker. Uh, we're going to import pwn tools like always. We're going to connect to a remote. We're going to say we want to play the game. And we have to win 100 rounds. So every round, I'm just going to print the round number. We're going to receive some input. We don't really care. And then we're going to send our input rock, paper, scissors. And then we're going to jump into an interactive. So I'll do Python 3 solve. And here we go. We're off to the races. And cool. There's our flag. Rock, paper, scissors, logic bug. So pretty fun challenge.